smiling face right now because I'm saying hello to you guys for the first time I'm in Italy so blessed to be here very safe took all the precautions this is my first update even though I've done been done doing stuff my mom's in the shower right now I'm here with my mom I ignore the best in the background I will show you the room in just a second even though it's messy our luggage got lost we had two layovers and a total of 17 hours flying and like, you know, going through switching gates and whatever. I look terrible. My skin looks bad. My hair looks bad. Um, our luggage got lost after we basically flew for a whole day and then came to the hotel Thankfully, we were able to shower. We didn't have any clear information as to when we were gonna get our luggage. Kept telling us like, oh, the carrier has it, it's gonna be delivered to you. Then we thought we were gonna get it last night. Then today we thought we were gonna get it in the morning because we got a text message super early this morning saying that it was gonna be delivered to the address we provided. And long story short, it just got here. Like basically a whole day later because this is around the time that we filed the lost luggage or whatever. So I'm, I didn't want to vlog anything on my phone because I didn't want the qualities to mix when uploading the video now that I have my new little camera. So yeah, no complaints. I'm very, very blessed and excited to be here. This is my second time here. Came before the pandemic, I think in, 2018 so I'm very excited to be here. I am holding my camera up so high. I don't have my tripod on it right now um, So anyways, but I've been eating amazing croissants. I'll insert some photos here so you guys can kind of see what I've been eating and doing We literally haven't done anything Got here yesterday ended up getting to the hotel at like 3 we just like ate a little snack and then had some pizza for dinner. And then today we could, oh, another thing. I didn't have international roaming on my phone, which we thought I did, but we, my mom and I don't because we had switched um, mobile carriers. Is that what it is? We had switched mobile carriers and we thought we got it with this one, but I guess we didn't. So I wasn't able to map anything out of the hotel without Wi-Fi or receive or send out text messages which is something we should have done like but yeah we had to we were enslaved we were slaved to the hotel because that was the only way we could receive the text messages about our luggage arriving because if we missed it then we would have to go to the airport to pick it up and that's just like a whole nother ordeal that we just we just didn't need any 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 more of so the fun now begins yeah no face wash no deodorant we went to the little supermarket today to get some stuff like body wash. My mom got like dental floss, um, little stuff like that. When we went last night, they had all closed and we just were all over the place, like sleep deprived, like it, the memories begin now. The good food, the good food shots and all that begins now. So. <laughs> little place that's right next to our hotel and it's been really convenient I got a croissant and we both got lattes me and my mom look up forno you'll find it but it's also the
we're having lunch here in front of the Duomo. We just went through hell and back trying to figure out how to get a COVID test to go back. Somebody's okay. oh, look at my view behind me. We got um, some salami and meats, and my mom got the Mediterranean salad, right? Mediterranean. <laughs> and now we're gonna finally enjoy our time and walk around and shop till we drop. Mom's Mediterranean salad. Mine, I got some bread here. We just had lunch. Now we're going to go shopping and take some photos. I might get some gelato. And we're still in front of the Duomo. Got two really cute dresses I'll show you at home. I'm eating gelato. Got caramel and coffee. <laughs> We're now going back to the hotel for a little break for dinner. The gelato was amazing. A little tip my friend taught me when he was living here to study abroad was don't go to the gelato spots that look really extravagant, like the gelatos all nice and tall because those are more for tourists. Go to the ones that look less exciting because <laughs> they're actually real gelato and it's really good. This is what I got from Zara. This cute little basic dress in like nude beigey color. It looks really long but I think once I have it on it'll probably go like right past my knee or maybe above my knee we'll see and then i got this really cute mini black dress has a little square neck and puff sleeves and then the back has an open an open back and i think it crisscrosses a little bit and ties but it's really dainty and cute and they were so cheap this one well this one was like 30 bucks and then this basic dress was like 10. So that's all I got. We're on our way to dinner right now. We just took a little break and now we're gonna get some good pizza. You want to take a look at the pizza? You no, know, like me and the pizza. Can you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah. Okay. 
we're currently walking back to the little river area you guys saw yesterday so we just had lunch as you saw i had a caprese salad my mom got busqueta we shared them we're currently walking to the river little area to take some photos and earlier today we went to get covid tested to go to be able to go back home so that took a long time and we just took a little break at home and then i got ready so we'll probably see you guys at dinner or at the river i'll get some cute footage also the lighting is really harsh but here we are so i did my hair today second gelato of the trip. I now got cookies and cream and hazelnut. I now got mango and passion fruit. Had more gelato. Now we found this really cute center area that I didn't know what it was, but there's a lot of statues and sculptures. Now we're doing more shopping. After literally being up since five, I'll make sure I'm focus. After being up until from five, I didn't take a nap or anything. The COVID stuff was easy. I'm gonna make a video on like tips and stuff if you guys are gonna travel during COVID too, and let you guys all know all the whole scoop. I will let you know all the details and stuff in another video more like an informational video not a fun vlog but we literally walked around the entire day came back home for a little bit after the covid test and then went back out shopped didn't get anything um had some lunch as you guys saw right now we had dinner and I had a few words to say about that so i love cacho pepe i recently discovered it it is a very creamy pasta consisting of pepper butter and a special like parmesan in the sauce and i tried it first because my boyfriend introduced me to it at italy eat e-a-t italy if you haven't been there it's really really good and um i've been to italy like this italy before and it's, I feel like it's most comparable to eat a leaf. So, um, I really wanted to try the cacio e pepe here because I'm like, what better place than the place that it originated from? So I went on the hunt looking for it and I found a place that was even called cacio e pepe. So I'm like, okay, they have to know what's up. It looked great online. And I have to say, it was okay. Like, it kind of was just like salty. Um, I still ate the whole thing, so sorry if I'm talking really quiet, it's because I don't want my mom to hear me. I'm gonna try it again one more time on this trip somewhere else, because maybe it was just the place, and see if it's anything like the one from Italy. If it tastes the same as the place I went to tonight, then I'll know it's just how it's supposed to taste, and maybe I just don't like it. Tomorrow, we're going to Bologna. Bologna? and that'll be a full vlog within itself. So if I don't come by tomorrow, which I probably won't, I will see you in the following vlog. 
Thank you.